Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Java RMI, Remote Method Invocation, is a powerful feature of the Java programming language that allows methods to be called from one Java virtual machine, JVM, running on a different machine. This is useful for building distributed applications. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of Java RMI, its architecture, and provide a step-by-step -step example of creating a simple RMI application. Hashtag 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 1 Java RMI Architecture Java RMI uses a client-server architecture. Remote Objects Objects that reside on the server and can be invoked by clients. Stub, a proxy for the remote object that resides on the client. It contains the same methods as the remote object and is responsible for marshalling, packaging, the method call and sending it to the server. Skeleton, an object that resides on the server and dispatches calls to the actual remote object. Note, in Java 2 and later, the skeleton is no longer required as the RMI system handles this automatically. RMI Registry, a simple naming service that allows clients to look up remote objects by name. Hashtag 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 2 Setting up your environment Ensure you have the following JDK installed, Java Development Kit An IDE or text editor for coding Example IntelliJ IDEA, Eclipse, or even a simple text editor. Command line access for compiling and running the code. Hashtag 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 3 Code example, a simple RMI application. We'll create a simple RMI application where a client can call a method on a remote server that returns a greeting message. Hashtag 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 Step 1 Define the remote interface. Create an interface that extends java.rmi.remote. This interface declares the remote methods. Greeting.java. Hashtag 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 step 2. Implement the remote interface. Create a class that implements the remote interface. This class will contain the actual logic for the remote method. Greeting impl.java. Hashtag 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 Step 3, Create the Server The server will create an instance of the remote object and bind it to the RMI registry. RMI server.java Hashtag 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 Step 4, Create the Client The client will look up the remote object in the RMI registry and invoke the remote method. RMI client.java Hashtag 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 4 Compile the code Compile the Java files Make sure to set the class path to include the current directory Hashtag 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 5 Start the RMI registry You can start the RMI registry from the command line This command should be run in the directory where the compiled classes are located this will start the RMI registry on the default port, 1099. Hashtag 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 6 Run the server Run the server application You should see the message. Hashtag 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 7 Run the client In another terminal, or command line, run the client application. You should see the output. Hashtag 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 Conclusion Congratulations! You have successfully created a simple Java RMI application. This tutorial covered the basics of setting up a remote interface, implementing it, creating a server, and a client to call a remote method. Hashtag 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 Additional Considerations Security When deploying RMI applications, Consider Java security model, especially if you are operating over networks. Exception handling, RMI calls can throw various exceptions, ensure to handle them appropriately in production code. Networking, 
for applications running across different machines, replace localhost in the client with the server's IP address. This example serves as a basic introduction to Java RMI. You can expand this by adding more complex data types, error handling, and exploring features like RMI over IIOP for interoperability with Corbot.